grade two. I'm so sorry, due to my strange camera holding skills, I just locked my phone and it stopped the video. So I'm not going to just restart everything. We are just carrying on from here. So forgive me. Okay, um, we are at the second part of our creative writing. Um, it actually worked out pretty nice because that was our first part. Now we are at the second part. What was the monster called? Ooh, this is fun. What can I call my monster? You can choose any name for your monster. What was your monster called? My monster was called... Um, ooh, what can I call my monster? Let me think. <gasps> ooh. They called the monster... Oh... What can I call my monster? Think of a cool name that, that actually sounds like um, intimidating and scary. What can I call my monster? Um, why can't I think of anything? What can I call my monster? Um, maybe... I'm trying to be creative here, but I, my mind is drawing a blank. I'm just going to say my monster's name was... Um, oh my word, Miss Etzebeth, honestly. Great to if you already wrote your monster's name, that's great. You can forward because apparently my brain doesn't work. So I'm just going to say, Miss it's, it was he was called... Um, X, X is a scary word. X. Um, X. X. Uh, oh my word. I'm just going to call him the thief. <laughs> Can't think of anything else. My monster was called the thief. <laughs> he didn't have a name, they just called him the thief. Okay. <laughs> Now, describe your monster. <laughs> it was half what and half what. My monster was half cat and half bunny. Okay, my monster, the thief, was half cat and half bunny. I'm really hoping that you guys are more creative than me because, I mean, what is happening here? But whatever. <laughs> okay. I have a half cat and a half bunny that lived in a mountain. And it was called the thief. Seriously, Miss Etzebeth, what? All right. Words to describe the beast. Yellow teeth. Um, um, orange eyes. And pink fur. <laughs> That is my monster. It had yellow teeth, it had orange eyes, and it had pink fur. Oh my word, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Honestly, I'm so excited for that. I'm still trying to think of a better name though, because that's, that's honestly the most awful name that I've ever... Um. <gasps> ooh, ooh, ooh. Its name was, no, other way around, Rabcat. Rabcat. There we go, Rabcat. That's what it was called. Do you get it, Rabbit and Cat? It's not much better, but I feel better about Rabcat than the thief. That's an awful name. Okay, now you can draw a picture. Ooh, I didn't think of this part. Okay, you can draw a picture of your monster. Okay, my monster's going to have angry eyes and obviously they're going to be okay i'm not going to color this one because i mean and it's angry um maybe it can have one rabbit ear and one cat ear <laughs> This actually does look scary. I wouldn't want to be trapped with this thing. All right, here we go. 
got. Oh my word, this is the thing that eats children. Miss Etivate, what are you doing? Rabcat, there we go. There's my monster, Rabcat. <laughs> okay. Then, next part. What object does the hero need to help kill the beast? Now you can say, ooh, it used a sword, or what, what, what. I'm going to say, the hero killed the beast with... With what? With what? With a golden spoon. My hero killed the beast Rabcat. Mykonos killed the beast Rabcat with a golden spoon. <laughs> and how does the hero kill the monster? Okay, this is where I'm going to pump the brakes a little bit. Please don't be too explicit because um, it is still, you are still children. And um, <laughs> please, I don't want anything too disturbing here. But I'm going to say he feeds him peas. Peas are disgusting. I don't know if you guys like peas. Everybody's taste is different, but me, Miss It's a Bit, I cannot eat peas at all. I hate peas. <laughs> so my hero Mykonos kills the rabbit cat with a golden spoon by feeding him peas. <laughs> and then how does the myth end? Um Mine ends with the parents of the children build a statue of Mykonos in the town center. Oh, no, wait. Center. Full stop. That's how mine ends. The parents of the children that were going to be fed to the rat cat build a statue of Mykonos in the town center. You guys can choose how yours end. Make it a happy ending. Actually, if you don't want to make it a happy ending, you don't have to. It's your story. Okay, so now we've filled in this entire sheet. We are not finished though. Don't just hand me in the sheet when I get your books back and say, there you go, Miss it's been done. No. Now, we are rewriting the story. So, get to a clean page. Your creative writing was pasted on the one page and now on the page next to it. Okay, I can't turn my camera now because otherwise...